Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Laravel series and in this video I will show you how to install Laravel in your system. For that we need some you need to execute some composer commands which you can see here for your information. Okay, uh, documentation and uh, getting started installation go inside documentation getting started then installation and uh, you can see the there are ways of installing laravel via laravel installer or via composer create project command so this is what we are going to do in this video it's just uh, simply saying something composer indicating the we are using to oh, we are going to use composer create project is the name of the command we are going to use to create a project hyphen hyphen prepper prefer distribution means the the most uh, stable version we are going to prefer and this laravel is the name of the vendor or basically the company or anything else you can say the name of the vendor simply and forward slash package name what package you want to install so of course we are going to install laravel package and this is the project name what project we are going to do so simply you can specify the name of the project Okay, let's begin. Just press uh, Windows R command, command prompt. Now, command prompt pop up here, and you can see we are in the sum directory. And I want to go inside my XAMPP directory, which is Explorer. And this is available inside this PC, C drive, and XAMPP. And this is what. And inside HD Docs, and we have. Uh, one folder that is uh, laravel so these are the folders these are the projects we i have created so inside this laravel folder i'm going to create one more project for you okay just you don't need to start apache server now uh, first re uh, let's uh, change the directory then type cd and uh, c drive now i'm in the c drive for cd x uh, a mpp zamp port slash hd docs and hit enter now we are in the hd docs directory you can change again directory you can hit enter l or you can press tab just to get the name things right so we are hd docs and cd directory name laravel now we are inside laravel directory uh, and then just type dir to list all the directories and we have these laravel projects available and i'm going to create one more laravel project for that we need to type composer create project create hyphen project so these are these are the command to create the project now versions uh, i want to the uh, stable version prefer hyphen distribution and the vendor name is laravel package name is laravel and the project name what project you want to do uh, let's do the crud project first then we understand we will understand how everything works this is a first and important project to continue with the major projects just say crud this is a project name crud hit enter and it will take so much time right because uh, laravel is one of the largest package of php and it has around 5000 to 6000 files you are going to see now in this cmd or command prompt window right while it is uh, installing let's discuss about a uh, few things of laravel it's begin right scroll on and uh, you can see the basics here now let's let's discuss about uh, basic things of laravel the basics and the first and uh, first thing is routing so routings are basically the it will map your url to some pages right w whatever the pages you want to redirect route will help you and take you to the pages as well as it comes with some uh, methods like the get method or push method and the thing is written here very clearly the most basic laravel routes except of uri and closer right 
URI are simply the URLs like uh, forward slash post, forward slash index, forward slash home. These are the URLs. Closers are basically the functions which uh, goes inside a function. Then simply you can pass a function inside a function that is uh, a nameless function or you can also create a function and pass the name of that function inside the function. Okay, see here route get uh, route and this is a static function inside the route class that's why we are calling using double colon double colon this is the way of calling a static function it it takes the parameter first the uri which is which could uh, which uh, it could be anything right for slash uh, home for slash post for slash users anything the second parameter is the function this is closer you can pass a function inside a function that is closer and inside this function you are saying something hello world and these are the basic overview of route we can do a tons of thing with this route now we have middleware middlewares are simply the mm, thing which uh, filters http request which is coming to your application and you can also provide some condition so it will filter the http request based on some conditions like the user is authenticated or not you can uh, use middleware just to say your web website is under maintenance so come later you can throw any exception for using the middleware let's say user uh, or your users trying to visit a page which you don't want to uh, allow him to visit so you can use middleware just to prevent them from visiting so there are ways to create the middleware and apply there some methods now we have csr protection so csr protections uh, are simply the kind of attack let's read it here laravel makes it easy to protect your application from cross-site request forgery attacks cross-site request forgery are a type of malicious exploit whereby unauthorized commands are performed on behalf of the unauthorized on behalf of an authenticated user right so you are an authenticated user or you are not an authenticated user you can't simply uh, send any malicious data through the form it's all because of csrf protection csrf will create uh, you cannot use any form without uh, input field csrf if you miss this csrf field inside the form then laravel will not accept your input data so you must need to have a csrf input field just to make your form work or to submit your data without uh, and it, it will helpful uh, input, uh, it will helpful and it will protect your application uh, from the user side and that's it now we have controllers we can discuss a lot about controllers so it, it's uh, controllers are the way to can um, provide communication between the models and uh, views so controllers get the data from the model and give the data to the view and it will also store help uh, get the data from the view and give the data to the model what i'm saying i'm saying hey, it's a it's a way to communication between model and view right then we have request now we can discuss a lot of request then we have responses now we are okay so you can see the laravel is installed uh, and you can see the application key set successfully and just make sure you don't have any error while it is installing so everything is fine no errors nothing everything installed successfully and there are a lot of files so it is installed right now we are going to run our first laravel application or it's just a page whatever so open your sublime text editor it is the best text editor for uh, right now i i believe right open folder and uh, laravel and uh, what was the project this is the current select folder so this is our laravel project and uh, let's create our first route uh, and you can see we have a folder routes 
and then we have few other files api.php channels console web so we need to open our web.php file because i'm going to create a route and you can see here it is a route so let's run our first uh, our given laravel application right you can run this application uh, here it is the command prompt and laravel comes with a great tool that is php artisan so we, uh, you need to uh, run all the commands using php artisan so first let's see what php artisan provides us so make sure you are in the laravel folder we are in the laravel folder and if you go if you type dir directory and you can list your projects so we are we have crud project this one and i'm going to go inside crud so i'm now in the crud project now just type php artisan and hit enter then you can see all the commands available so it's a laravel tool php artisan and you can see we have so many uh, commands these are the options available commands so the thing uh, what commands i'm going to use now is uh, there are some make commands there are migrate command i will let you know everything right so there are some commands uh, i'm gonna looking for um view cache vendor store session schedule route clear the route queue generate you can use this command to generate your package key that will ha be helpful while you will deploy your project right and uh, available commands are here you can see the serve right i'm not uh, running my zamp yet right and we don't need to run zamp if you are not using any database so this serve command will run a server will create a local uh, local host environment serve the application of php development server so i'm going to use this command serve is the first command i'm going to use php artisan serve hit enter and you can see the laravel development server started at 127.0.01 8000 port right just go in the url and type 127.0.0.1 and 8000 hit enter now you can see the laravel this is the first page loaded by the laravel right now let's write our first uh, hello world application mm, so this is the route this is just simple uh, forward slash and this is what this is you are you don't need a specify forward slash by default it is forward slash hit enter and it is this mm, let's write our route so the our first route is get and i will say app so our route is app to the pass a function return hello world now save go the go to the browser and type forward slash app hit enter and you can see the first hello world that's it so now you know how to uh, route the urls how you can provide route and in the next video we will discuss a lot about uh, the controllers and models and everything right so this is a what we can do in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe